1.3 million is no small number, and the BMW X5 is no small car. That's exactly how many they've sold so far since it launched in 1999. And as of mid-November this year, you can buy this, the third generation of the X5. So what can I tell you about it today? Clearly, it's still an X5, but BMW is saying it's the most aerodynamic in its class. That means there's some seriously big, boxy 4x4s out there. It's also claimed to be the lightest in the luxury SUV segment, and you know what that means, lighter equals less fuel use. The S-Drive 25D claims to return 50 miles to the gallon and less than 150 grams per kilometre of CO2 emissions. But if MPG is less important to you than 0 to 60, then there's a new 4.4 litre V8 petrol X-Drive 50i just to whet that appetite. Five engines in total will be available from launch. Clearly, the X5 is still a capable family car, with acres of interior space and a 650 litre boot. That's 30 litres more than you got in the outgoing X5. But the X5 is now aimed at a more premium market, and you can tell this from the amount of kit that's available. This includes a choice of four different suspension packages and a drive dynamic control which fine-tunes the balance of sport and comfort on the move. There's an X-Drive E-Drive concept with plug-in technology being touted at the show too, but there's no confirmation that this 74 mile per gallon engine will be available just yet. So for now, you'll have to make do with the normal combustion engines. These go on sale in the UK from the 16th of November and will be priced from £42,600. Click one of the links to see our full review of the outgoing BMW X5, to see all the other SUVs the X5 goes up against, and to see all of the new cars launched at the 2013 Frankfurt Motor Show.